fight, to fight. Put your hands. Push out. Never gave you a chance, and they told you to fight, to fight. Put your hands. How y'all feeling, y'all? We are the Philadelphia Student Union. If you're happy to be here today, I'm gonna need y'all to clap it up a little bit. Clap it up a little bit. We're here to talk about violence, right? But when they talk about violence in the media, they make it seem like violence is only fist fighting. Violence can only be verbal. What we talk about is violence when it becomes systemic, when it becomes institutionalized. So if you don't got no food in your refrigerator, that's violent, because if you're a human, you're supposed to eat, right? If you don't got no books in your classroom, that's violent because you're supposed to learn. That's our purpose here. When I say youth, you say power. Youth, youth. The Power Summit and the campaign have sprouted from just a bunch of uh, acts that have been happening over the past few months. So around the flash mobs that happened earlier this year, around the violence that happened last year at South Philadelphia High School, um, we talked to students involved with those in that and we decided that we needed to do something uh, we needed to have a campaign focused on nonviolence, and not just nonviolence like physical violence, but also violence in our school system, in terms of uh, not having enough textbooks or not uh, having the right amount of teachers or the right resources in general. So that's why we developed this campaign because we want to make it equal for everyone and make sure people have a safe environment, both emotionally, mentally, physically, and resource-wise. <laughs> Things don't happen when you're quiet. And even if you start to make a movement, you can't keep it with and just you. Each one, teach one. So as we are here today, everything that we have learned, we should go back into our schools and tell everybody about it. What if I don't get it in third grade, but in fourth grade or in fifth grade or in eighth grade, I do get it. So you determine it. Basically, you're making that prison bed for me. Like, how do you know that that's where I'm going to end up? Or how do you know I'm not going through something right now? Or how do you know that I didn't eat breakfast or that week was bad for me? So you disrespecting my intelligence because you're making a prison bed by my test scores? That's just ridiculous. My name is Roger Churchville. I am a 12th grader at West Philadelphia High School. And also, I am a two-year member of the Philadelphia Student Union. I have a workshop that I did, and it was called um, Spiral of Oppression. And what that deals with is how young people are sometimes mistreated throughout stereotypes or whatever that comes up in their everyday life. Young people today, we don't really have a voice. Usually they say adults know everything, adults are smarter than us, adults can pretty much control our lives. But I think with this summit, it's actually like we're actually coming like making a change and making a difference and also convincing people that, I mean, we need, we know our rights and we need a voice to like stand up and for injustice and also for peace. The um, School to Prison Pipeline Workshop, which is one of the workshops that means the most to me because it's talking about how students, it's telling you about this large system that's setting you up to go to into prison or into a low wage job. So I felt like it's a bit it's one of the biggest parts of the campaign and I felt like that needed to end so that all of us can be on a pipeline to college and career so that you know students of the future will be able to have what I didn't have. This campaign is important because don't think for like because don't think for yourself. Think about kids you may have someday. Think about the future and how we're not just the future but the present. The present needs to make the future better. The campaign for Nonviolent Schools is a campaign to end all, all forms of violence in our schools. I learned in eighth grade about this system, um, about all these sorts of systems that is pushing students into jail, into the prison system, into low wage jobs. And I took it upon myself to say, I don't want to be that one. So I'm going to strive to do the best. I, I think the reason why I got involved in um, like nonviolent issues and making sure that other people understand the um, the root causes around violence is because in 2005 my brother was murdered um, and it didn't happen in a school but the systematic system that was in his school made him drop out which made him get involved in things that he wasn't supposed to and that incident has really laid the foundation to make me realize that I really don't want people to, to, 
to go through the same type of situation and realizing that there are proactive ways to, to handle violence without the use of violence. Um, and I think I'm, I'm really inspired by the, the, the number of students who have come out today from all different cultures, from all different schools and all different walks of life to show that yes, they do care about what's going on in their community and their schools. So I think this is just a stepping stone for us as a community and a society to start moving forward and getting more young people involved in the process and bringing them to the table when the decisions about them are being made. Channeling the spirits of the voices past through I, these voices last. In the city disposition, mixed with teenage ambition clash with the grass. Roots educational complex feeding you intellectual context, transmitting elevated concepts. You now about to witness greatness. A lot of garbage circulating through the stations. But I done made it out the matrix. Red or blue pill, what you gonna take then? These are the words that get passed around from our nation, said from Asians, Haitians, Blacks, and Caucasians. These are the words we mold from our creation to give back to the generations as a donation. These are the words that was used on the plantation to give slaves a motivation while they escaped through the night to get to their destination. They say it's innovation, we say it's segregation. It's our right to organize around our present situation. No point in waiting, wasting time in delegation. No, it's time for liberation. I have step in hesitation, revelation. Educate to liberate, not domestication. Yeah, so what's your occupation? Are you caught in that system of steady paper chasing or perhaps are aware the issues that we're facing? You can lighten up our struggle with your link collaboration. One beat, one drum, perfect syncopation. One mind at a time to be one in celebration. Keep our ears tuned, no misinterpretation. All all eyes glued to the rapid transformation. All mouths cue spreading words of inspiration. The power.